Now, pumping weights could help you live longer, and this is according to a US study published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine. Researchers asked more than 150,000 people in their 60s and 70s about their exercise routine and then followed them up. They found that people who took the recommended 150 minutes of moderate exercise a week lived longer than those who didn't. Those who combined regular aerobic exercise with muscle strengthening activities once a week had a 47% lower risk of dying from any cause apart from cancer over the following nine years. That's more than those who are not active at all. Well, let's speak now to Denton Wilson, a 67-year-old professional bodybuilder, joins us from Sheffield in the north of England. Denton, good to have you with us. Um, yeah, thank you. Thank what you. got you started with the bodybuilding and when? Well, when I was um, 42 years young, I was given eight weeks to live with prostate cancer. And uh, I wanted to live, I wanted to survive. I was offered chemo, radiotherapy and all these different drugs. And uh, I'm, a, I'm a great believer in God. And the voice was saying to me, don't have any of those. Just look at all what I've given you, all the natural things. And, and that's what I did. That was the first port of call, really. And then I started to get to do exercise in order to get myself strong. So um, I've been in remission now for over 20 plus years. And I've achieved so much. And, and I'm trying to give back. To, to the wider community of how I actually do it. You know, was given eight weeks to live. I'm six or seven years young, right? And and, and I've, I've had no chemo. I'm not saying chemo is a bad thing or a wrong thing because I don't really know, or radiotherapy. All I know, I looked at healthy options and exercise. And and to me, the exercise and, and, and the things that you eat is very essential to everyone's body, you know? And I feel my body right. And I train, and, uh, and and I just seem to be getting stronger, more fitter, uh, and some young people can't even keep up with me. Wow, I can imagine. I mean, uh, Denton, there is sort of taking up a bit of moderate exercise, maybe going for a jog once a week, and then there's what you've done, which is um, winning competitions, bodybuilding competitions. I mean, that's really kind of throwing <laughs> yourself into it, um, 110%. Um, yeah. Have you always been involved in some kind of sporting activity, or was this a completely new new uh, route and direction for you? Well, I, 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 it was a new direction for me, really, because I was doing all the, the things that other um, people were doing, eating all the wrong food, wasn't really bothered about training, we're just going out partying and things like that. And when I got struck with having cancer, because I watched my father die of cancer, so his death gave me life. And and um, and from since then, I wanted to do so much to help the wider world and you know, the people in the community, anyone. If, if I can do it, I'm sure that they can. I've been on, on Britain's Got Talent, um, I've done a lot of things in order to try and promote good health and well-being because we can live longer with good health, you, know, you understand me? And it's about looking at what you need to do with, with that. And I feel that I've got that information right because I just seem to get stronger and stronger. Every time I go back for a test, mm. the doctors are baffled. They can't see nothing. So obviously I've, I'm, I'm on the right path. I, I mean, I've been told by so many people over the years who's had cancer, as myself, are dead and gone. God bless the soul. They've always said to me, Denton, mm. you need to write your story. Because if I knew what I knew, what you you were doing, I think I would have took another option. Yeah. We don't get enough options to say this is what you need to do. This is all about health and well-being. And I try to promote that. I've got a book out called A Man Dies Every 45 Minutes mm. and in order to promote good health and well-being. It's got all the information in regarding all the cancer-fighting drugs, okay. uh, oh, well, cancer-fighting foods that I, that I implement in my diet and exercise. And, and that's all I do. Okay. Um, Denton, we don't often have a guest on um, who's a 67-year-old bodybuilder, even less so in a vest. Give us a flex with the biceps. Go on, show us. Give us a flex. There we go. There we go. That's it. My goodness. At 67, that is it's quite Back extraordinary. Superman. And, uh, <laughs> Superman vest, uh, indeed. Denton, thank you very much. Who knows who you've inspired and the health benefits uh, that they could uh, reap as a result.
uh, of I hearing so. your story. Yeah, and we're I, glad I, I to hope, hear... I hope, I hope they do get the book. It's, it's, it's out on Amazon. A man dies every four to five minutes. OK. Um, um, that will help a lot of people. We, OK, we, we must leave it there. But we're delighted to hear that your uh, your health has improved since uh, uh, since those, uh, those scares in your 40s. And it's good to see you doing so well. Denton, thank you very much. Denton Wilson there, 67-year-old professional bodybuilder.